Can you see my screen now? Yes, it's OK. Yeah. OK. So first of all, hello and good morning to everybody. Thank you, Vladka, for organizing this great event and for giving me the opportunity to promote our virtual exhibition project. I'm here on behalf of my colleagues, art historians Andrea Derhazarian Bukic and Daria Alojevic from the Fine Arts Archives of Croatian Academy of Sciences and Arts, and Ariana Novina from the Archives of uh, Academy of Fine Arts in Zagreb. This joint project evolves around one archival item, the unpublished textbook prepared in 1914, entitled Plastic Anatomy, that is being held at the Fine Arts Archives as part of the legacy of one of its authors, member of Croatian Academy, sculptor Rudolf Valdis. It consists of printed text, a manuscript, and over 100 anatomical illustrations. To tell a story about it, we wanted to interpret it within the institutional context of the Academy of Fine Arts in Zagreb, for which it was initially intended. So we asked our colleague Ariana Novina from the Academy's archives to join us and create a virtual exhibition, not just about this textbook, but also about the beginnings of teaching anatomy for artists in Croatia. What gave us the additional incentive was the series of workshops organized by Icarus Croatia as part of international project Creative European Archives as Innovative Cultural Hubs or CREARC where we had the opportunity to hear and learn from various experts about storytelling and audience development. Our two archives also participated in stories from the archives online platform, also part of the CREAR project, with short stories about private art school in Zagreb and the other about public sculpture Zlatarevo Zlato placed at, uh, in Zagreb old city gates. Let me say a few words about digital collection of the Creation Academy, which we used as a starting point for the creation of the exhibition. The open platform provides its units to present diversity of material from its scientific and artistic collections. Digital content such as books, archival documents, artifacts, photographs, etc., is enriched with metadata and open for researchers as well as wider audience with the established licensing policy. As the first phase and the basis of the project, we managed to get funding for digitization of the textbook, which we then stored in the Creation Academy's digital repository and made it available online for browsing the whole item page by page. Read the text and look at the illustrations in detail through deep zoom. As we are a small archives, we don't have a big budget for digitization, so we have to choose carefully what we are, we are planning to digitize, so we could use it afterwards in some creative form, uh, such as virtual exhibitions or some other projects. The construction of virtual exhibitions starts as any other exhibition, researching, writing texts, selecting visual materials, preparing captions, but then it needs additional technical knowledge for digital content editing and also storytelling in virtual space. We find this way of presenting uh, very valuable for us since it enhances the visibility of, of the archives itself, but also of its digital collections, which are present at uh, uh, our digital platform. Virtual exhibition advantages are also in extending the content with links to other websites of interest to the team, and in our case, providing the links to the digital content at Creation Academy's digital platform. There are various ways for presenting the story. Fine Arts Archives team previously prepared two virtual exhibitions, a series of slides uh, for left to right viewing. But since this is more complex exhibition, we decided to present it in so-called scrolly telling mode, which means scrolling the content down. It is, uh, for example, better for mobile services, uh, mobile devices. Uh, so once you click on the icon with uh, the theme you choose, uh, then open the text with illustrations. The virtual exhibition that we prepared has a quotation in its title. The will is the skeleton, the desire is muscles. 
It's from Valdet's manuscript part of the textbook, describing the basic principles of anatomy to his art students. The project Plastic Anatomy is partly financed by Icarus Croatia through the CREARC pro project. So we are very thankful and thanks Latka once again for all that you have done for us. We constructed the exhibition in several chapters. The intersection of medicine and art, which we did with the help of historian of medicine, Professor Stella Fatovic Ferencic. Then the overview of the history of teaching the anatomy for artists in Croatia. The central theme is, of course, the textbook itself. And at the end, the view on anatomy curriculum at the Academy of Fine Arts in Zagreb today. Except for the plastic anatomy textbook itself, the visual material presented at the exhibition comes from several fine arts archives collections, digitized and open for view at our digital collection platform. There are books and sketchbooks from uh, various legacy, for example, legacy of museologist Anton Bauer, or legacies of painters Fabkovic and Juric. And there are photographs and artworks, photographs from uh, leg also from other, other legacies. Uh, photographs uh, are very interesting uh, of professors and students of the academy from its beginnings in 1907 uh, through the early, early generations of students at the of the academy. The archives of the Academy of Fine Arts provide digital material from various collections, official documents, sketchbook, sorry, sketchbook map of Professor Kirsto Hegedus, one of the uh, anatomy professors, as well as photographs of student art books, uh, student artworks and academy studios. Today's anatomy classes are presented through recent students' artworks and projects. And in addition, there is a multimedia section with two short videos about the anatomy classes at the Academy, an interview with the Dean, Professor Tomislav Buntak, and a video about plastic anatomy made by Professor Darko Bakliža. The real exhibition called Anatomy Hour Then and Now will soon take place in Shira Gallery in Zagreb, Preradovićeva Street, uh, where you uh, will be able to see the parts of plastic anatomy uh, textbook, and also uh, today's students' illustrations. Uh, so we will see historic and today anatomy illustrations and photographs. Also photographs of professors and students of Zagreb Academy of Fine Arts. The virtual exhibition link will be available in a few days. It will be open parallel, uh, parallel to uh, the real exhibition. And you will find it on Icarus Creation and Crea Project website, as well as on our, of course, institutional website and other media. Thank you for your attention and hopefully next year we will be at Icarus Days conference at some great place here in Croatia. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Yasenka, uh, for this presentation and for all work uh, for a few archives and uh, connected this with all artistic material. I think it will be great. I already see it, so I know that it will be great. And I think that the idea that people find out what, what is hiding inside the archives, what, what findings you can find, it will be interesting. And now we will go to 